What's up, guys, and welcome back. We are uh, at the exact same spot. Well, not the same parking space, but the same parking lot that uh, the last video that I was inside the truck. So, two days ago, I think. Yeah, that sounds right. That would make sense. So, uh... I hate doing these in the truck, but we are battling some horrific winds that completely caught me off guard. It was kind of windy. Um, I did get rid of that trailer that I had. Obviously, you guys saw that in the last video. Made it down, picked up the other one. It's back there. <clears throat> and it was it was kind of windy when I picked it up. Not terrible. Um, and then I took off, and it... Uh, just kept getting worse so I, I slowed her down to um, about 45 because um, I had I, have, I had plenty of hours on my clock I wasn't worried about running out but I knew I had to make it at least this far in order to get the trailer dropped and then back home for my kid's birthday so made it here uh, all is well and tomorrow we head south, down into California. As you saw by the title, I don't think the state of Washington likes me. So let's do a, a bit of a recap, off the top of my head. Um, the first one or two times I went into Washington, nothing real major, you know, just some really bad traffic, some idiots that cut me off, almost hit me, but... Not anything real crazy. That's, you know, two or three times. And then, uh... I... Almost am taken out by that high-speed pursuit. A uh, couple guys in a Cadillac weaving in and out of traffic just about clipped me. And then a bunch of cops go flying by. Okay. Next time I'm in Washington, um, that was the like six or eight car pileup that I barely avoided, and then it got the guy behind me. Uh, for those of you that didn't catch that video, you know where there's um, an off ramp. They kind of make that V for the off ramp and then the interstate to keep going. Well, someone went to take the off-ramp, realized they didn't want it, went back into that V and stopped instead of just merging back into traffic. And I was looking at her like we had eye contact. I said, she's going to pull out right in front of me. So I got all the way over on the... So I was riding the white dotted line on my left and just barely made it around her. And she pulled out right behind me. And the truck behind me went up and over her and then flipped over. And... A few cars made it through. Um, I didn't feel like it was safe to slam on the brakes in the middle of the interstate. So I just called 911. I mean, a bunch of other people stopped and got out. There was nothing I could really do. So I just called 911 and said, hey, this just happened right behind me. And next time I go into Washington, uh, there was just that awful snowstorm, which those happened, you know, it was ridiculous, but not the end of the world. And then the next time I go in, all of a sudden everyone stops, like the, the whole freeway just comes to a screeching halt and get up there and there's an old lady parked facing the, the wrong way on the interstate and there's a cop on scene, like trying to direct traffic and everything. I'm okay. And then I kind of stayed out of Washington for a while. You know, I did a couple little loads in there. Nothing real crazy. Um, just a bunch of nutball drivers. And then today. I almost didn't get to make this video. Or any other video. So I'm going down I-90 west and 
I go to make the interchange to the 395. Right as we, there was a, one of those service trucks, you know, with the flatbeds, all toolboxes and crap on it. I think it was a DOT truck, um, like one of the road work repair guys, not like the DOT officers. <clears throat> I'm right behind him. He's going slow for whatever reason. I don't know. So I get in the left lane, and as I'm passing him, it's raining, and I go, I, that looks like a car up there, doesn't have his lights on, but I'm gaining on him really, fa really fast, and then, oh, that, that car has clear taillights. Nope, that car is driving the wrong direction. I slam on my brakes, swerve over, get back behind the DOT car, and this guy goes flying past me in the other direction. Just some old guy just staring along. I'm honking, flashing my lights. He's just completely oblivious. Had no I don't even think he saw me. So I called 911 again. <laughs> hey, uh, here's what's happening. This guy's doing this, blah 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 blah. This is where we are. Okay, thank you. So, maybe I'm just going to avoid Washington. Also, um, I almost hit a horse. Yep. Uh, Highway 200, about seven miles away from Interstate 90, seven or eight. There's a little cluster of houses. in Mon This is in Montana. And there's a semi that's doing like 55. Uh, I'm no trailer. I'm empty. Speed limit 70. I get the dotted yellow. I get over in the left lane and I accelerate. And I'm like, I think, I think I see something in the road. But it was like black and white and spotty. So I'm, um, my eyes are just messing with me. Like, because it was like right at that, the sun's just starting to, like the sun wasn't coming up, but we're starting to get that ambient light from the sun. I'm like, okay, the sun's, the sun's just messing with my eyes or something. And as I get a little bit closer, it moves. I'm like, no, I thought that's a something. And I get closer and it's a horse and it goes taken off back into this guy's house. So apparently he just lets his horses roam free in his front yard with no fence. Well, she, he, she, them, I don't know. Today was not a good day. So, I'm here. I'm parked. I've been parked for an hour. It is 2.48 in the p.m. And I'm going to be back on the road at midnight. So, I'm going to go to bed. Or try to. We'll see what happens. And I'll, uh, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. As always, those of you out on the roads, I wish you fair winds and following seas. Take care and have a great day.